It's How to Cake It Tuesdays. We are making a cake au lait, which is a play on a cafe au lait. This is the perfect Father's Day cake because on Father's Day, your dad's entire day should be one long coffee break. This cake has so many delicious elements. We've got vanilla cake and chocolate cake. And then on the inside, we also have chocolate buttercream and coffee buttercream and vanilla buttercream, donuts and cookies and coffee crisp and chocolate covered espresso beans. It's going to be a coffee extravaganza. <laughs> a list of like adjectives behind the camera. <laughs> this is gonna be a decadent power punch. <laughs> What's a power This is gonna be a decadent caffeinated treat for your dad. I'm removing the chocolate cake and vanilla cake from their pans. They are 10 inches round. I'm going to use a ruler and a serrated knife and level these cakes to make the top nice and flat. I'm going to cut off a thin layer off the bottom. I do this just to remove the brown edge. Beautiful. And now we can cut this layer in half. So use a ruler, find the right measurement. In front of me I have my classic all-time favorite recipe for Italian meringue buttercream. The link is below. I'm gonna flavor this buttercream now with my concentrated coffee. Just pour a bit in. That looks gorgeous. Looks like a sundae. And I like to use a whisk because it's liquid. So just gently sort of start to work the coffee in. Not only are we filling this cake with three different flavors of buttercream, but we've got all these goodies to put inside as well. So we're gonna take these donuts and we're gonna cut them in half. Speaking of dads, my dad, when I was a kid, if we had stale donuts, he would cut them in half, butter them, and fry that side. Time to cut our coffee crisps. Coffee crisps, coffee crisps, say that five times. Finally, we're gonna cut some of our chocolate covered espresso beans in half. You don't need that many because they're very potent, very strong. It's time to fill these babies. We have our simple syrup, give it a little shower. And then we're gonna start with chocolate buttercream. I've got three piping bags that are the same size. I'm gonna pipe this chocolate buttercream in rings around the cake. So basically just hold it there and then move your cake and move inward, inward, inward till we do the whole cake. We're going to place our chocolate chip cookies right on top of this layer of chocolate buttercream. You don't want the cookies to be too close to the edge because we are icing this cake on the outside. One glorious cookie in the center. I would just want this cake. I'd be happy with it. But we're gonna take it up two notches, maybe five notches actually. I have a little tip for you. Pipe a little mound, just a few dots of chocolate buttercream in the middle here where you have room. And this will help our next layer of cake, which is vanilla. See these little spaces here? You can just pipe a little buttercream to stop your cake from sinking into the grooves, basically. Moving on to layer number two. Using our same piping technique, we're gonna pipe our coffee buttercream round and round our vanilla cake. What goes better with coffee than donuts? We're gonna put our half donuts in our coffee buttercream layer. I'm trying to pick the nicest bottom. That doesn't sound like what I'm talking about. I'm trying to pick the nicest bottom half of the donut. This is what I want for my birthday. 
and 5,000 subscribers. And speaking of subscribers, let's do that link thing right here. How about a coffee buttercream spatula point right here? Click the link. Time to attack the third layer of this cake. Oh yes, we're not done yet. We need to add another chocolate layer. Ooh, ooh, quick before it cracks. Totally fine if your layers start to crack. It's just because the cake is so moist and this usually happens the bigger cakes get because they're, they're heavy. Our final piping bag will be filled with vanilla buttercream. Once again, we're piping in rings. And this layer is gonna to be topped with our latte coffee crisp and our chocolate covered espresso beans. Last one. Again, if there's a lot of space, you can just add a bit of buttercream. We're crumb coating this cake as usual, but in this case, we really wanna seal in all the yummy ingredients in different buttercreams. So you might need a little extra on the side. Just make sure you really get in those little pockets and nooks and crannies. And your buttercream won't stay white on the side, but that's okay. Actually, it kinda plays into the way our final presentation will look. And if you feel a bit of cookie jutting out, just push it in with your spatula and keep going. And then we can pop this cake in the fridge to chill. Oh boy, is this heavy. Woo! While the cake was chilling, I went outside and cut down a tree, and I was able to get this perfect slice, which I think will be the perfect base for a Father's Day cake. So what I need to do is pick up this cake and move it onto my slice of tree, and we're gonna ice it there. Here's a little cake tip if you're icing a cake and you don't wanna get your cake stand dirty or your plate or your tree trunk in this case, just slip some parchment paper underneath your cake. Now we have our tree trunk protected. Protect the trees after you cut them down. Um, <laughs> that's, that's awful, that's not funny. We're gonna continue to use our piping bags on the outside of this cake. I'm gonna start at the bottom edge of the cake. So I'm gonna do two rings of chocolate buttercream around the bottom, and now we're gonna to switch to our other piping bag and fill it with coffee buttercream. I want the outside of it to look the way that a cafe au lait looks, which if you have it in a clear mug, sort of starts off dark at the bottom where the coffee pools, and then it's predominantly milk and coffee, so you get this gorgeous coffee color, and then the top is white where the milk and the foam sit. So what I'm gonna do is take my palette knife and run it around the cake. And what's gonna happen is these three colors are gonna kind of blend together and soften. Now that we know our seven minute frosting is ready, we're gonna move on and we're gonna top off this beautiful cake au lait. I'm just bringing the frosting to the, right to the edge of the cake. Digging the palette knife into the frosting and lifting it to get more texture. I didn't want it to look smooth like an iced cake, I want it to look like foam on a cake au lait. Got two more final touches for our cafe au lait. The first is a dusting of cocoa. And for the finale, we need something sweet on the side of our cafe au lait. So I have baked one giant triple chocolate chip cookie. This is actually four cookies in one. And I'm gonna place it on top. Okay, just do it. It's just a cookie. It's my show. <laughs> It's time to eat this cake, yo. I'm just talking to myself, because I'm yo. I'm gonna eat a slice for my dad in heaven, and I'm gonna enjoy it on his behalf. Oh, this is honestly my favorite how to cake a cake. This is like a masculine hunk of dad cake. Hashtag dad cake. If this isn't the perfect Father's Day cake, I don't know what is.
We need to turn off the camera so I can eat this alone. Happy Father's Day to all the wonderful fathers. Happy Father's Day to my husband. And Happy Father's Day to my daddy. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel.